sperm count huge, you'll paint all of the girls' faces with your load, but now. I'm gonna do a thousand. A thousand? Yeah. All right. Hey, Mark, man, what's up? This is uh, Keith. You probably don't really get phone calls like this at all, but. We got our first call. Let's go. We got our first call book. Um, I got she had to book it in right now. So you guys come over here. We'll show off the positive response. This time I will be blaring the company's name out because you will not know. Um, <laughs> all right. So here we are. We hit them. We hit them with the same line. My sister Blase Blase, and then basically he said Blase Blase. Email me. Let's talk. We'll do. So that's what I did. Sent them over, hey, just wanted to reach out regarding my DM on Instagram about helping you guys grow on TikTok. Are you free for a call tomorrow? Yes, please schedule via Google Calendar. I mean, man, you know what okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna schedule it in, possibly for tomorrow, um, around a couple, I don't know, four or five o'clock. Give him a call, I'll record all that and let you guys know how that goes. Probably going to pitch him I don't know yet because I can't use any of my case studies. So I'm gonna come prepared with the call. I'm gonna do my research on his product and I'm just gonna come on the call with confidence as if I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And we're gonna close, we're gonna close them and we're gonna make some motherfucking money. It's game time. We got the call coming up in um, four minutes. Yeah, we got the call coming up in four minutes. So don't know exactly what I'm going, not, I know what I'm gonna say, but I have to be able to figure out how I'm going to pitch him the right way because I can't use any of my case studies. How you doing? I'm one for you today. I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. Where are you calling in from? Give me. Give me. I, I just want to make sure you're not CIA. So. Hey, <laughs> I'm, I'm calling in from Minnesota. That's <laughs> not where I'm calling in from. Dope, dope. Well, I'm calling in from Columbus, Ohio. So somewhat close if you were there. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, dude. Well, I really do appreciate you uh, for being able to take the time out of your day to answer this call. I don't, I'm not sure if you do get a ton of DMs like that, but. Um, yeah, definitely. I came across one of your guys' products on TikTok recently. Uh, one of a buddy of mine sent the product over and just wanted to reach out because, first off, like I mentioned, I didn't mention this yet, but love the branding on it. Um, ton of potential as far as within that market of the supplements that you guys offer. And yeah, man, just really wanted to reach out to see, you know, what that looking for you guys as far as on TikTok, TikTok, and then the marketing side of like just organic in general. Yeah, so um, how are, have you started? Let me ask you this first question. Have you started like posting consistently on TikTok? What does like marketing look like for just the whole work the side of the company? Not been posting consistently on TikTok. Um, TikTok is an absolute bitch when it comes to what you, you are allowed to say. Mm -hmm. It used to be, it used to be the wild, wild west where you could say, does it make your dick big? Sperm count huge? You'll paint all of the girls' faces with your load. But now they're like, yo, like, even if you reference a clinical study that's backed with a double-blind, placebo-controlled human clinical, mm -hmm. uh, they'll say, no, you can't say that. So that's something where I need to figure out appropriate language or matrix-approved language yeah. that can help me post consistently, which is kind of gay because it's like, dude. Yeah. But it is what it is. Well, um, strategies are being developed in how to use language that is convincing but matrix approved so like i mentioned i think one of the other things is definitely is more of a quantity game you know like i said you have 15 different you know videos up which are dope videos but it, it becomes it, it becomes to a point where there's a lot of testing that has to be done i think your guys's product can work really well you know i've seen brands make millions in month like in the spans of months just off TikTok with the exact same product without using those you know, matrix words, um, you know, testosterone, things like that. Just being able to find a unique angle, take that and then kind of run it at full go and full scale. Um, what would you say as far as, because I'm looking at the catalog on TikTok right now, what would you say is your guys' quote unquote like bestseller? We don't have a bestseller. Okay. Um, are you guys doing any ads or like meta ads or anything? No. Okay, so no marketing at, at the moment at all. Right. Okay. And like right now, would you say like your biggest focus is to start pushing TikTok? Do you, do you, let me ask you, do you see the potential of your brand being a big brand on TikTok as far as more sales driven to the site, growing the page organically, so on and so forth? Uh, it's an interesting avenue. Yeah. Um, I believe this is more of a vitamin shop style brand. Mm. So get it on Amazon, get it to vitamin shop. I am curious to test. What I would like to do for TikTok mm. is create more of a cinematic style clips 
yeah. with wheel gear, um, no AI videos, no voiceovers, use more of a cinematic style of clips for the main account, and then have, because I don't want to dilute the brand with AI robot bullshit. You yeah. know, this is a real brand that's actually very cool with very good sub, uh, ingredients. Yeah. So more of a cinematic style clips or ads or videos, whatever you want to say. And then have affiliators affiliate so they can use the AI robot bullshit. Um, but on the main account, yeah. it's more of a beautiful cinematic style clips. And then from there, that way the brand is included with robot. Yeah. Dumb shit. Yeah. Uh, and then push it on Amazon, push it to GNC by the shop, yeah. and then have the affiliators load up in the background. Okay. Yeah. So, a couple things on that. First off, I do totally agree um, as far as the whole main page being diluted just from AI robot bullshit. I get that 100%. Um, but there's certain things to a certain extent as far as being able to put that style of content that you're looking for as far as the cinematic goes for the main account. And why that is, is because when you go on TikTok, I don't know if you're a user on TikTok, I am because I do business on it, but you will never catch me mindlessly scrolling on it. Um, you, you, it's rare for you to see styles of cinematic content tailored towards products. Like it's very rare, given the fact that TikTok is just more of a platform where iPhone users are constantly on it and most of that content, once again, kind of relays back from shot off an iPhone. Not saying which your idea, what you're wanting to do is a bad idea. I think cinematic content is very, very cool. But in terms of actually wanting to grow a true audience based around for your guys' brand, it is very important that you keep content very straight up and very simple. I'm not saying the AI content is very straight up and very simple. That can be on a total different subsidiary account or cousin page of your guys' brand. But like as far as the main page, it needs to either be a creator that can make just regular good content, you know, rather that's controversial content, day in the life content, basically content that evolves around the product in itself, or even the founder, which is yourself, maybe you get behind the camera and you do more of a founder story where you're basically explaining how this brand became about, what the benefits are, why the quality is top notch, why the branding, why you chose the branding, and so on and so forth. Um, besides that, if you want to do that, the other option would also be, is like you mentioned, creating those subsidiary accounts where the AI bullshit can become can come into play, where you can have other creators who fuck off and make you know different styles of content that tailors back to the URL or the landing page in itself. Um, so yeah, that would be my like two things I would definitely recommend when trying to depend on what angle, what route you would want to go down. So would that be something you, you you'd be interested in, kind of wanting to try out as well? I think it makes sense. Okay, dope. Well, yeah, I mean, so like I mentioned, how I basically works, pretty straightforward on the organic side. So like I mentioned, we'd get products sent out, we'd figure out like the deal structure and everything. And um, yeah, just really take it from there. So what, what, what would you say kind of next steps would be? Would it be getting me into that Discord, me sending up, drafting up some type of proposal? What, what does that look like? And which route would you want to go? I would prefer starting it from organic, man, just because, like I said, Building up an audience is everything to me. It's everything to a brand, and it's it's it's, it's a be, it's the best way to not have to shortcut it. Like I said, building up a true audience and following of your people who genuinely fuck with your product for your product. Okay, so give me some numbers. Yeah, so like I said, pricing definitely can vary. Um, I would probably just put together some type of proposal, just giving you different tiers of like certain videos I can offer per month. That could be anywhere from 20 all the way up to 40. And then also like the deliverables of what that all looks like. And that can- you All know, I care about is net income. 100%. So base your numbers around me. I don't care about views, I care yeah. about sales. 100%. All I care about. 100%. So uh, posting 20, 30 videos, I don't give a fuck. I don't want sales. Yeah. So pull, make it around how many sales you can get. Okay. No, it makes complete sense. I mean, I agree. I mean, views are not always cash, so 100% uh, agree on that. So yeah, I'll get something jotted up for you, man. Get that sent over literally probably. This is a results-oriented company. I care about results, not yeah. views. So if, if everything is about results, if you can't get the results, totally cool, I get it. Yeah. It's not going to work. Yeah. So, I want results. Results are net income mm -hmm. based on revenue. Uh, as being asset based, yeah. I have extremely fat margins on my products. Yeah. Probably the fattest margins in the uh, supplement industry because I'm asset based. So, because most companies are third party manufacturing, yeah. right? Yeah. They have to pay someone to make it, blah, 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 blah. I have fat fucking margins. So, if I need to run discounts or etc., I can be extremely aggressive on pricing. I don't want to do that because that can dilute the brand. 
but it is what it is. Yeah. Um, so sales. Yeah. I need sales, not views. Yeah. I don't need posts. I need view. I need sales. Got so, it. Really around sales. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'll get that all jotted up for you, man. And like I say, get that sent over, and then we can kind of take it from there. Thank you for your time. Yep. You too, man. Talk soon. Take care. Cheers. I mean, that fucking dude was holy shit. Mm -hmm. He was interesting. Mm -hmm. He was a really, really interesting guy. Yep. Like he didn't have his camera on. Um, I would talk and ramble and say something, <laughs> and then I would just look at the screen of like his his icon. Like the orange icon. Yeah, bro. <laughs> orange I, like, I mean, he was interesting. So I mean, honestly, as you guys could see, I was trying to just give him a ton of information. A lot of you guys probably wouldn't be able to kind of give the information that I gave, and the reason why I could give that type of information because I just did research before the call. That's all it is. Like, it may have appeared to you like, yo, this dude knows his shit, but it's just like, bro, I just did market research on the product, him, what I see, why I think organic's better than TikTok, sh not, not better than TikTok shop, but why organic's more of a benefit versus TikTok shop. And then, you know, just positioning myself as far as why he should go with organic. As you guys can see, he said he was only looking for really creators that were based for it, uh, affiliate TikTok shop. But I'm like, are you proposed to doing it and growing it from zero? And he's like, oh, so what's the difference? Then I kind of proposed and was like, dude, it's one thing just to have a thousand followers and slap your link and your product into the bio and then magically hope sales come in versus just scrolling the page from exactly zero and then having a following, building it up. Because guess what? Throughout the process of you building this following up, people are following you because they generally fuck with you, one, and then the product itself. That's way more valuable than just trying to take a new page from a thousand up, upwards just so TikTok has to get used to what you're offering, who you are, what the product is. So. Like I said, I'll send him over a proposal. You can tell, you can just hear it in his voice. I want results, I want results, I don't care about views. Fair enough, I mean look, views are all, not always cash, I understand that, but I'm gonna put together something, I'll probably try to pitch him. <sighs> he was a tough dude, you can tell. Mm -hmm. I try to, I'm gonna just throw a thousand, he might even like laugh at me, he might not even open it, but maybe starting off, let me, let me, I'm, I'm gonna start low. I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna start low just to show you guys the build up to it because now in the game that I'm in, I charge anywhere from three all the way up for 20 grand per month. I can do that because I have over 50 case studies of show for. But right now, as a beginner, as if I'm trying to make it relatable to someone who's watching that wants to get in this game, I'm gonna charge a fair price that you would charge if you were pitching a brand for your first time. I'm not about to go for the kill shot, actually. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not. There's no reason to. So I'm gonna charge probably, shit, maybe even two or $300. It doesn't matter because I tell my creators this and all my students who are absolutely fucking crushers that Getting your foot in the door, getting your first brain deal is everything, even if it's commission, because you're building yourself from your ground up. All it takes is one fucking case study to set it all up. One case study for me resulted in me making millions of dollars of revenue for companies and multi six figures my first year and continuously to do that now. So I'm not even gonna go for the kill shot. I'm gonna keep it settled, I'm gonna keep it short. I'm gonna get the deal, I'm gonna close it, I'm gonna solidify it, and then we're gonna move forward from there. All right, so I have my sales call for uh, my brand today, basically the one I got from Cole DMing. And now we've got another one of my students, one of my boys, Isaiah, who's having his first, uh, his first sales call today. Let's go. He won't, he won't allow me to stay on the call to help him and guide him through all the call because it's his first call. All pressure's on him, but I get it. But he's gonna record it and I'm gonna get the footage and show probably some of it for his first sales call. I gave him a couple pointers, basically telling him just be himself. He has a ton of fucking case studies to show for. He's generated multi six figures um, in revenue for companies. So. It should be a laid out, and guess what? He found this brand from, uh, how'd you find the brand? Code email. Code email, bro. The list that I give you guys for free, the list that all my students have, well, they have a way different list that I give them, over 20,000 brands, and then being in my program, whatever, blase, blase. But first sales call, bro. Um, he's an absolute crusher, and yeah, we'll, I'll keep you updated on how it goes. <gasps> We're on a rager. Let's go. So we got another code email response. Um, you wanna head over here. So her name's Sue, and basically she said, okay, we can do Monday, she said we can do next Monday, but Friday morning open up for me, would that be better? I can do Friday, August 9th, or any time at 9 a.m., blah, 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 blah. If neither of those time frames work, let me know, I can probably move something around. With the script I use, um, that I've been showing you guys, I use that, and also, once again, with the document. Um, the brand, well, the brand that she owns is, hold up, let me show them really quick, give me one second. Probably have to blur this out because I don't want to show you guys it, but here's the brand. Um, give me one second. Shit. I mean, bro, we're on a fucking streak right now. It's like a industry pioneer unique. I have no idea. Oh, it's a skincare. So it's a skincare brand for women. Um, I mean, necessarily, it could be tough. I'm not going to lie. But if all, if worse comes to worst, 
I honestly could pitch her on strategy, just giving her like basically strategy, helping her and like the next steps and what she can do differently, or even giving her a girl creator of mine where that would just fall to the agency. It's not a part of this challenge, but that would just be me showing you like I literally been Cody ML and me and Ian been Cody ML and fucking 50 to 100 people a day. So that goes to show that it works. Um, so I'll see what happens or I could tell her like, look, I can make content for something like this, but it would have to be like AI generated content, which I could probably do for something like this. So I don't know. I'm going to book her in for Monday or Friday or sometime next week. I don't fucking know, but it's another dub, another call book. W. Isaiah, Isaiah just had his first sales call. We're going to tell us how, to, how, how did it go? Well, it was, it was pretty good. I had to record though on my work phone, which is kind of shitty, but yeah, it was pretty good. What did they say? Like, how they feel about everything that you pitched to them? Um, they seemed, I didn't give them pricing yet. I told him I was going to send my portfolio. Yeah. And from there, he seemed like he was interested. So they don't have any creators. Mm. So I think they definitely need somebody. Okay. Are you going to, um, what are you going to pitch them? I'm going to do a thousand. A thousand? Yeah. Okay. Did he? Did you ask him as far as like what were their goals with TikTok? Why they haven't posted? Like anything like regarding marketing for them? They just said it's pretty much the brand themselves doing it. They okay. Don't have any creators. So yeah. Yeah, they need people. Okay. How did it feel? Like was it nerve wracking or what? It's just nerve wracking, like in the beginning. Yeah. I mean, looking back at the card, you know, I'm gonna be like, "What the hell was I doing?" Yeah. Because I'm just like my tone is bad. Yeah. But I think I said. I said what I needed to say, so. Yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So what, uh, you about to jot out the proposal? Do you want me to send a template that I sent Cor that I, uh, let Corey and some of the other creators use for like drafting up the proposal? It's straightforward, yeah, I use yeah. it. I use it all the time, so it's straightforward. If you want me to, I just draft up the template and send you over, you just got to change their name and everything like that. Okay, does that, um, for like my portfolio, that should be something completely separate, right? No, so the link that I made you for your portfolio, you can just add that within the doc. Okay. Yeah. Um, did he uh, ask for like pricing and shit? Um, he just pretty much, he said he wasn't sure about how pricing was going to look, obviously. Yeah. And then I just said, yeah, I'll send it over. And he said he's going to review everything with the team because the CEO sent it to him. Oh. So he can talk to me about it. Okay. So he wasn't like really talking to like the decision maker? I don't. I'm not entirely sure, honestly. Yeah, okay, no worries. All right, bet, good shit, though. I mean, like I said, you can learn from that call. It was your first call, bro. First of fucking many. Um, send me the video, I wanna look over it and shit. Um, and then I'll send you over that template for the proposal. Get it out sooner rather than later, just so it can kind of show them like, yeah, you're dead ass, you, you've done it, you have the case studies approved. Now it's kind of falling through with the deal. I don't see them not taking a thousand dollars up front, like right off the bat, bro. You've already generated, like I said, multi six figures doing this. So I'll send it over in a little then. Um, yeah, send me over that video. I'm gonna look over and just look at different shit you could have did differently. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. All right, yo. Peace. All right. I'll see you. That simple. Uh, like I said previously, he landed that off Cody Mail. Got him on the call. They liked everything. He's gonna pitch him a thousand. I don't see why he wouldn't close it because he has insane results and insane case studies. That's another student. Absolutely fucking crushing it. Anybody can do it. But uh, yeah, man. Like I said, it is game time. Time to cold call. Let's go. Go ahead for the camera on me real quick. You know what it is. All right, we about to do, I forgot to tell you this before I ended the last video. We're about to do 20 minutes worth of cold call. I'm gonna get a ton of fucking footage and let's run the fuck up. I got a list right here. As you guys can wanna come over here and zoom in. Of over 100 plus phone numbers. So honestly, it's about to get real interesting. So I'm gonna fuck with y'all, I'm gonna fuck with y'all. Hey, uh, can I speak to Mark or is this, am I speaking to Mark? This is Mark. Hey, Mark, man, what's up? This is uh, Key. You probably don't really get phone calls like this at all, but basically I've been using, uh, I've been using the Rain Pure Water for some time now, dude, and I actually wanted to reach out because it dawned on me that, so I basically give you a little more backdrop. I basically help brands grow organically through TikTok. And like I mentioned, been a user of your guys' product for some time now. And one thing led to another, and I ended up going on your guys' TikTok and realizing you guys didn't have really that big of a presence. Um, so yeah, I wanted to reach out because I was curious as far as is your guys' like what was your guys' like focus like when it comes to like growing on TikTok and things like that. Like I mentioned, you probably don't get calls like this ever. That would be a question for a social person. Um, 
And if you want to shoot an email, I'd be happy to forward it to them and see if they want to have that conversation with you. Um, and you can send that to hello at responsiblyran.com. Okay, you said hello at, uh, what is that again? Responsiblyrain.com. Okay, responsiblyrain.com. Okay, sounds good, dude. I appreciate uh, appreciate your time, man. You got it, thanks. Yep, take care, bye. I mean, I guess that was okay. I got an email. It's a start. I don't know. I mean, man. It's good, man. It's good. You can cut it. We just don't fucking miss. All right, so we got a call booked Friday. I did a ton of cold calling. Um, what, what not? Anyways, we got a call booked. We have a call booked Friday with the one brand I showed you earlier. Then we just got another response. Brother, are you available on Friday at noon Eastern? If so, send me an invite to blah, blah, blah. As you guys can see right there. Brother, are you available? Brother. Hello, brother. On Friday at 12 Eastern. <laughs> so, hey, man. Dub is a dub. So now we got two calls book Friday. And yeah, man. <clears throat> Oof, I mean, what a day has it been? I mean, we got cold call. We got two calls book, brand calls book. We had a new call with our first brand deal. We got proposals sent though. We got students crushing it. God is on our side. God has allowed me to do this. I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be able to have new subscribers and people that watch this journey. Um, it's, it's been it's been really fun, you know. It's only the beginning. We have a ton of momentum. I'm gonna get a couple of deals closing for you guys. I showed you guys like this shit is possible. I've been doing it for about five years now, almost five years. It's changed my life in so many ways, and I'm so blessed that I'm able to even just walk you guys through and show you guys how I'm able to do all this. Um, yeah, but very very productive day. We got some cold calls in, and I'm starting to really fuck with the cold calls. Like I really do. I've never done it. I just thought I implemented because I'm trying to maximize the way I reach out to these brands. But overall, like I said. I just thank God every single day for giving me this opportunity to do this, like, and show you guys, like, it, it works. It really works, you know. Uh, I've been blessed, very, very blessed to live the life that I have, just simply because content. Content has changed my life and allowed me to do that, and me be able to show you guys, if I was to start over, how I would do it, it's everything. So, appreciate all the love and support that you guys continue to show me, and let's keep running the fuck up. I mean, it's so dope to see my, my like, students and people take away from what I'm doing when, because this shit works. So, yeah, see you guys in the next one.